Hello folks, I'm Andrew and welcome. In this video, I want to share with you my six cycling essentials. That's the six items that I take bike packing with me on almost every single trip. So the first item is my brew kit or cook system. So here it is. It's a titanium 600 milliliter pot. It's by a company called Tomishu. It has a hanging arm and a handle and a lid. Inside here, I've got a lighter and my brew kit, but much more importantly, my latest mini gas burning stove. It uses these butane gas canisters, which happen to fit absolutely ideally into this, the 600 milliliter version of pot. So in here, I've got a very tiny, lightweight titanium gas stove. It's by a company called Lixida and it really is very small and lightweight. It has three supporting arms which fold in and out and a little control key for varying the flame size. I keep the gas canister in its own little travel bag to save it rattling around inside the pot. It's a screwing type to so remove the cap and then just simply screw the base of the gas stove onto the butane bottle. And there you have it. A very quick and convenient gas stove. It makes a very lightweight brew kit option. And you know that when you get to your campsite, you're gonna be able to heat up water, heat up your food, and your life's gonna be that much more comfortable. My gas stove. The next item I've chosen is this. It's by Red Camp. It's a lightweight aluminium stove screen. Now you might think that this screen is a little bit unnecessary if you're going lightweight bike packing, but really it doesn't really weigh that much at all and it really has two great advantages. The first is once you wrap it around your stove, it protects it from the wind and if you're in an exposed location, that can be pretty critical. The second advantage of a windshield like this, by encasing your stove completely, it will add to the thermal properties of your stove by insulating it and keeping the heat inside making your heating and boiling experience more efficient. I suppose the ultimate purpose of a windshield like this is safety, and it's gonna offer you a degree of fire protection. My windshield. My next item is my mug choice. It's this, it's a silicon foldable mug. I'm using my titanium mug cooking the water but I don't drink out of it so I need some kind of vessel to drink my tea, coffee and soup. And this little mug really does serve the purpose. It's great because it folds down to a very small volume. It has a nice large capacity. It comes with a heat shield, saves you burning your fingers. It comes with a lid which is very important and it has a little drinking port so it's going to keep your drink warmer, longer a very nice, lightweight and compact mug. Next up, it's this, my smallest tarp. It's by DD Hammocks and it's a magic carpet in XL size. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're interested in my other tarp choices, I'll put a link up above here, but this one always goes with me, regardless of whether I'm taking a tent or another tarp to actually sleep in. So this is gonna provide me with kind of emergency shelter. If you get a puncture at the roadside in inclement weather, or you need to stop for a period of time to sit out a storm, or for any other kind of um, incident or emergency, then at least you've got some kind of cover with you, and I'll always take it. The next item is this. It's a piece of clothing, and it's my downfield jacket. It's extremely small and lightweight. I haven't been on a bike packing trip without taking this with me. The other nice thing about a down jacket like this, apart from giving you instant warmth and comfort at the end of your ride, it's a useful additional thermal layer if you're sleeping in a lightweight sleeping bag and you need that extra warmth during the night. So quite often I've slept in my three season sleeping bag and then worn this as well for an extra layer. My down jacket. And my sixth and last item is this my Garmin head unit bike computer. 
It's a GPS and it's going to track all the key metrics for my ride, including maximum speeds, average speeds, and it links to my power meters so that I can download all the data at the end of my ride. But more importantly for bikepacking, it's my primary source of navigation. Now there are many companies out there providing software, web pages and apps for planning your cycle route or bikepacking trip. I happen to use Map My Ride. It's a very convenient and free online service. You create an account with Map My Ride and then you can plan your route. Once you've loaded your course onto your Garmin head unit, select navigation, courses, and then load your course onto the map. Select ride, and the head unit is going to navigate you along your chosen path, allowing you to concentrate on safe riding. My Garmin 820 bike computer. So there you have it folks, my six cycling essentials, six items that I always take with me on my cycling trips and adventures. They're small, compact, lightweight, and they all earn their place in my bikepacking kit.